One of the things I have noticed in Australia that is sort of been left as the last kind of consideration is marketing, is engagement, is how do you connect with the customer? There's a lot of people starting fintechs who are incredibly smart. Maybe they've come from financial services or they have a tech background, but those products very rarely sell themselves. And that ability to really connect on what is very much a dry, boring product, it's money, I really don't want to think about it, especially for young people who don't have a lot of it. You think you really need to have really smart marketing skills. And I think it it goes into how people view marketing just generally. Like it, it's kind of seen as a cost center in a lot of organizations rather than a growth engine. And I think the really smart people are realizing that isn't the case. And the very clever organizations, be they startups or corporates, are actually bringing marketing and product as close together as is realistically possible. Because in so many organizations, those things are so siloed and they're kind of competing against each other. And it doesn't make sense in today's world because they go hand in hand. They're so inextricably linked. We actually started an entire sub-brand <laughs> um, called Wealthness, which is the content arm of the business. And that content um, um, brings in external writers, whether they be just you know uh, bloggers in their own right or interesting thought leaders from within other fintechs or other industries. And we try to cover off all of these different areas that we be holistically relate to your wealth. So be that your behavior, your relationships, your career, um, you know, these all, all of these things, if you optimize them, that actually flows through into your money. And so wealthness has become this kind of sub-brand of Zupa. And we almost look at, a, a, I guess, a content play there that then gets people interested, gets them engaged, and then drives them into the product. And I think that has been a real different angle that we've done in the industry that I haven't seen anybody else do in this space is how do you think like a content marketing organization and then put a financial product next to that and have some synergies across all of those layers. And I think a lot of people treat that as like a, oh, I guess we've got to write a blog. You know, it's, it's not about that. If you look at the really smart media organizations in the world or the smart businesses, that is such an engine of their business. So we, we've thought a bit differently in that regard.